Hey guys, welcome to another video and you would be wondering why second day in a row there is an install and preview of Oxygen OS for the Pocophone F1. Was yesterday's video not good enough or that ROM is not good enough? Not exactly. This is the latest version based on OnePlus 7T and this is the Diwali edition. That is what the developers have named it. So really, really fancy name over there. Uh, my colleague Manchi did make a video on it recently. You can go ahead and check that video out as well. But this one is going to be a little bit in-depth before I actually review it but there are a couple of announcements that I have to make first things first I'm gonna be traveling from tomorrow till Monday that is at least for a week so this entire week it is not gonna happen that you won't have content you're gonna get videos every day in the evening at 8 p.m. and it is going to be installs and previews. So in the next one week, starting tomorrow, you're gonna to see seven new different custom ROMs for K20 Pro and the Pocophone F1. So one day it'll be this device and one day it'll be that device. So please, you know, cooperate till the time I'm back. Once I'm back, I have a lot of exciting stuff like what is decryption, what are the advanced features of TWRP, what's on my phone and gaming tests best ROM for gaming and stuff like that. So a lot of exciting things are planned. So stay tuned for that. Now, before we begin with this video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And please hit the join button if you wish to support the channel. The plans are very, very cheap. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now to begin with, you would see that on the Pocophone F1, even now I am running Oxygen OS, but let me tell you in you know a quick snapshot what these guys have to say. Now this build is dated the 13th of November. It does say that it is bugless, so that is very, very nice. It does have native Dolby from OnePlus 8 Pro. So speaker, Bluetooth, wired with app, check add-on. So it's available in the add-on section. I will leave a link unlike yesterday wherein I didn't leave a link intentionally. Now going on, we do have HDR everywhere, voice over Wi-Fi, video over Wi-Fi, video over LTE, voice over LTE, tweaks for bullets, wireless Z, new icon. So basically this is a very, very feature rich ROM compared to the one which we, you know, previewed yesterday. Now, remember, even this is going to be a install and preview, although I'm yet to review Oxygen OS for the Pocophone F1, which I will do next week. I will be using the OnePlus 70 build and I will be reviewing it. But what are we gonna do today? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to step-by-step -step install it and we will have a look at the first impressions of that particular ROM. Now, before we begin make sure you have backed up everything on your device because the method which i show i do not include dfe that is disable force encryption i just believe in formatting everything internal including internal storage that gives you a clean and fresh experience and make sure you have more than 50 percent battery now there are a few files that we are going to need let me quickly show you what all are we going to need now, as you can see on the screen, we will need the OS Diwali system, the Diwali vendor, the Poco F1 vendor only zip, which is 94 megabytes. And all of this has to be flashed using the OF Gang's version 7 TWRP, unlike yesterday in which we did use a general normal TWRP, which is available. So as I said, we are going to first format data to avoid any encryption decryption issues. Now that we have all the files ready on this particular OTG pen drive, we're gonna quickly boot into TWRP and begin the flashing process. Now, as always, to boot into TWRP on the Pocophone F1 or the K20 Pro, press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the boot logo and then release the buttons, it will boot into TWRP. So as you can see, we are in TWRP right now. So what we're gonna do here first is without doing any wipes or anything, we will first install TWRP. So go to install and then select storage and select the OTG over here, hit OK. And then let's navigate to that particular file and select install image over here. Now this is the TWRP, select that and select recovery. Swipe to confirm flash. Okay, now go back to reboot and select recovery. Wait for the phone to reboot into TWRP. All right, now as you can see over here, this does say OF gang. So we will go to wipe, we begin the flashing process, format data, type in Y E S yes and hit the tick mark. Wait for the process to complete. Okay, now go to reboot and select recovery again. This time we will actually go ahead and wipe everything and begin the flashing process. 
All right, now we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data and internal storage. We won't be wiping USB OTG because that is where our files are. Okay, the wipe is done. Now go to install, select storage, select the OTG because that is where our files are here. Okay, and then let's navigate to the files over here. Now this is the sequence I would request you to follow. Okay, so first we will flash the firmware of POCO F1, then the vendor and then the system. So select the firmware, add more zips, select the vendor, add more zips and select the system. So swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between two to five minutes as always. So please be patient while that happens and keep an eye on all the files that are flashing. Now, as I said in my previous video as well, once the phone has completed flashing and you boot first time, it will automatically reboot once to finish the setup. So that is pretty, pretty normal. And this over here is the build based on OnePlus 7T. So it does have more features. That means it is more feature rich compared to the other 10.3.5 we covered yesterday. Let's wait for the flashing to complete. Okay, now as you can see, everything is flashed. So wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system. Do not install. Now the first boot will take three to five minutes because it is gonna set up the system and everything else. You will see the Oxygen OS boot logo. So if you happen to see that it's taking more than five minutes and it is probably stuck in a boot loop, then you just need to press and hold the power button till the time the phone reboots and you should be fine. That is what is mentioned in the installation notes. Let's wait for the phone to finish the first boot. All right, so as you can see over here, we are on the home screen and the phone is now completely set up and ready to be used. So first thing that we'll do is we will go to about phone over here. And as you can see, it does say Snapdragon 845, never settle. It is the OF gang Diwali edition is what they've mentioned. Android version is Android 10 and the oxygen version is 7T Beta 9. So it should definitely have a lot of features now as expected there is no camera application included so you know you can use the gcam application that is linked in the description and you should be good to go but apart from that as they mentioned this is pretty much a bugless rom and as you can see it feels like a native native rom over here even if you go to say customization and you change the theme to dark theme which is what i like there we go and hit apply there you have it everything is dark and beautiful again so you know all in all for me even the yesterday's version was feeling very very smooth but i did encounter a couple of problems so i would try this i would not definitely review this in the install and preview but yes this was a quick way of how to install the latest diwali edition of oxygen os make sure you backed up all your data and let me know in the comment section what your experience has been with this particular rom for now, until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.